Hi, this is Mrs. Wyman from Festus Elementary. Thank you for joining us today for the Leader Art Challenge, sponsored by the Twin City Area Optimist Club. Good morning, art students. Today we're going to be learning how to make air dry clay. Using two common ingredients you already should have around the house, flour from the kitchen and hair conditioner from the bathroom. So let's learn how. Here are our two ingredients, flour and hair conditioner. There's a few substitutions you can make. If you don't have flour, you can use cornstarch. If you don't have hair conditioner, you can use any sort of lotion. And you can use any combination. Here's all of our ingredients together. You'll need a mixing bowl, a half cup measuring cup, and a tablespoon. One half cup of flour or cornstarch. I start with one tablespoon of hair conditioner or lotion. Then I start to mix it up. I quickly see that one tablespoon isn't enough, so I add another tablespoon. And this is good for you to know because this isn't exact. So if you don't have measuring cups, just kind of eyeball it. Here goes the third tablespoon of lotion or conditioner. I'm looking for the flour to just hold together and start to form a dough. I think we're getting pretty close. I'm done with the spoon and now it's ready to switch to your hands and start to knead the dough. If it's too dry and it's crumbling still, add a little more lotion or conditioner. When it's holding together in a ball, it's ready to start to create with. You can break a piece off and roll it into a snake. I made a spiral with the snake and turned it into a snail. Pulled another piece off and rolled it into a small ball. Here I realize it's still a little dry. I think the recipe should have been four tablespoons of lotion or conditioner. I roll the ball again, break another one off, and make a smaller ball. What do you think I'm making? If you guessed a snowman, you are right. A 
About this time I realized I could add some food coloring to the dough so it wouldn't be white clay. If you don't have any food coloring, don't worry about it. Once your air dry clay is completely dry, you will be able to paint it. I thought if I made it a color, you would be able to see it better in the video also. Now you can see it's making a bit of a mess. So if you do add food coloring, make sure that you're working on a piece of parchment paper or aluminum foil or something that won't stain your counters. I also quickly realized that adding the food coloring after your dough is made means that the colors won't work all the way through. It will always look a little splotchy, but I actually ended up liking the way that looked. Now the last thing I wanted to show you how to make is something called a pinch pot. And every year in kindergarten, we always make one. So what you'll do is create a sphere Put it in the palm of your hand and then take your thumb to create a hole. Put your thumb back in the hole and then gently turning the bowl, you're going to pinch around the edges. So you're creating a small bowl. This is called a pinch pot because you're pinching, pinching and turning, pinching and turning. Once you're done, you can put it down onto a flat surface to flatten the bottom so it doesn't roll or tip. Continue to smooth it or thin out the walls or the sides to finish your pinch pot. I ended up making another one, but this time I added the food coloring at the beginning with the lotion, and that ended up creating a more consistent color but I like both of them. Anything you can imagine can be created with air dry clay. I can't wait to see what you make. <laughs>